my name is Glossy and welcome back to this week's episode of the Path to the Well series. If you are tuning in with us for the first time and you have no idea what this series is all about, let me tell you about it. The Path to the Well is a series where we hear life stories of people who found hope and strength to overcome the challenges that they face in life. And we hope that their stories inspire you to make a difference in your life too. So last week, we heard about how waiting time is not wasted time and how we should not give up but to keep pressing on to see our hopes and dreams being fulfilled. So what is in store for this week? Have you been seeking for something in your life? Like you feel there's something missing and you're not sure what it is? Well, this week, we have someone who will be sharing with us about searching for an untold love. Here's May. To share with us a story today. Hi, my name is May. A very good day to all of you all. Today, given this opportunity, I would like to share with you all about my simple and humble journey that changes my life. I was raised up in an ordinary family with three siblings. Mom as a housewife and my dad was working as a sales engineer in an engineering company. We are considered a happy average family. When I was about three years old, my dad met with an accident and he passed away. Life was difficult back then because my younger brother was only about one month old and my elder sister was only about five years old. Mom could stay at home to take care of, uh, take care of us because we are all very young. She has to bring us up single-handed. After a few years, mom could find a job to support us financially. Life was not easy as no father figure at home and mom got to work long hours. From morning about 7am, she need to cycle out and come home only about 10pm at night. We stay in a rented room above a shop lot. At the time, my sister was only about 9 to 10 years old and she has to take care uh, of myself and my brother. I remember every night, we, have, we, looked up, we take turns to look up our uh, room window to see whether mom is coming back or not. We don't have transport, mom, mom got to cycle and we know that it's not safe. In fact, we worry about mom, in fact, every day. You know, I always cry myself to sleep at night because I don't understand and I do not know why this thing happened to my family. Why dad got to die so early? It's always this question in my heart. Do you know what is it feels like when there's no father figure at home, no, nobody care or even to protect us or love us? My heart was so broken when I was young. Growing up was not a happy time for me. In fact, very sad because when I look at other families who are so complete, I feel so bad for myself and for my siblings. Days and years goes by and thankfully we grow up with a proper education and we stay on the right path. I had a dream when I was very young. I dreamed to do well in my career, in my life, but my heart somehow felt so empty. And I never stopped asking, what is life? Truly, I was searching and thinking so much about it. You know, in the Bible, there is a verse at Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. It says, ask, it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. My heart really seeking and searching at that time. So when I started working, one day I met someone, a stranger. He told me about the love of God, about Heavenly Father. Then suddenly I said, hey, I realized that I always long for a father figure who loves and care, cares for me. I accepted the love of Jesus in my heart and since then I've never, never looked back. I, um, I realized that my dream is not only to do well in life, but rather have a meaningful one. As my journey continued, 
I was doing well in my career, I got married and I have two beautiful girls. Nowadays, I spend much time raising up a group of children, uh, teaching them in prayer, and I take every opportunity to share with them how God deeply loves them. And I come to realize that this is indeed a meaningful life that I always wanted. Surely my life path was guided by God, by Jesus, who has never left me nor forsake me. He has opened so many doors for me, doors of opportunity, and I really thank God for that. My dear friends, what about you? Have you ever stopped and do a reflection of your own life? What is life all about to you? My real journey starts when I ask myself all these questions. And, it is, and this is indeed a moment of truth. I hope with my life story, I did inspire you to seek this amazing God. Anyway, thank you for hearing me out and God bless you. Thanks May for sharing your story about how you found the love that you were searching for and how you went on to touch many lives around you. I hope that you were all inspired by her story and will also begin to think and ponder about this love that she shared. So here's a question for you to think about. What is life to you? Join us back here next week as we continue on with the Path to the Well series. See you there. Bye.